Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and today we are talking about this, the Withings Smart Scale Body Plus and hopefully this is gonna help me with my goal to be more consistent in tracking my weight. So let's get started with the unboxing. Okay, now we have the scale unboxed and we can talk about the actual features that it does have. Um, I did the unboxing before, I opened it as soon as I got it from Amazon because that's how I roll. Uh, let's talk about what this thing does. The first question that I had to answer is, where exactly do you put a bathroom scale in the bathroom. Now maybe this isn't a problem that many people have and maybe it's not something that many YouTubers talk about, but for me specifically, I don't understand where you're supposed to put your bathroom scale because specifically this one is just high enough above the ground that you're gonna stub your toe every single time and it's always in the way. You can either put it in the bathroom somewhere so that you can actually see it and use it and be consistent, or you can put it away in a cupboard or a drawer or in a closet, never see it and never use it, but you don't stub your toe. So. Not exactly sure the correct answer to that question, but it's a question that needs to be answered. So if you have any thoughts, throw those in the comment section below because I have not found a solution. Okay, so putting that moral dilemma aside for just a moment, let's talk about what this scale can actually do. Now, first I would start by explaining how to use something like this, but it's a scale, so you step on it and that's how you use it. So let's move straight into some of the features that it has. In order to get set up, once you first unbox it, again, I'm sorry for uh, doing that on my own so you guys didn't have that wonderful experience, after it's unboxed, you need to download the app, which is the Withings HealthMate app. Now, I really like how they did this app. I think they did a great job of the design, the flow, and in stark contrast to something like the Amazon Halo interface. I think it's great. It's easy to see the most important details right up front. You can see your, your steps are brought in from other health apps. You can connect this with Apple Health. And one of the greatest things that I think that Withings is doing right is integrations. Now with my fitness data, I have you know the Apple Watch, the, the Whoop, I've got a couple different things going on. I really do appreciate the things that will integrate with the other systems that I have in place. Now Apple Health is a great way to consolidate a lot of information, but if you're using a Fitbit, they'll never send any of their data basically anywhere, so that makes things very difficult. Now this scale sends data to Fitbit, they send data to Apple Health, they'll send data essentially wherever you want to send it. And that's fantastic. And I think that's a huge plus for Withings and this scale in particular. So let's dive back into the app and you can see, as I mentioned with this interface, you can see the most important stuff really quickly. The weight obviously is the most important thing with a scale such as this. So that's the first thing that I look at. It also tracks things like body composition, muscle mass and body fat percentage, as well as your BMI. Um, as long as you input some certain information, obviously BMI is gonna need your height to then make that calculation. But if you do that, you get a lot of cool information from this and you can see that progress being tracked over time, which I think is really cool. So I set a goal to be more consistent and being able to track that progress over time and see that effortlessly is super important to me and I think the Withings scale does a great job of that. So let's dive in and talk about the specific screens that this Body Plus scale has. Now the cool thing about the app and having that in conjunction with the scale is that you can customize the screens that you see on the device. Now when you get to personalize your scale, you can even do this specific to the user of the scale, which is cool. Based on the weight, if you're using this single scale for an entire household, you can uniquely set up the screens for each person that's gonna be using the scale. So I have my own setup, my wife has her own setup, and we can do things differently. So first off, weight obviously is actually quite accurate, and what I've heard from other reviews and in my own experience, the weight that it tracks is quite good. And the first thing on my list right now is the weight trend, so you can see where your graph is over time. After you weigh yourself, you can see how you compare to previous weigh-ins, which is kind of nice. You want to see that graph going down or at least staying consistently level. You don't want that going up. That's a little bit of a red flag for me. The other screens that I've added are fat, mass, and body water. Don't actually use these, they're just kind of interesting. I've never had a thing that tracks exactly how much water's in my body. And I have heard some other reviews that that's not super accurate, but I think it's interesting and kind of cool. So I add that in and maybe if it's really low, I'll drink more water. So that's a plus two. The next one is weather, which I think is kind of odd. I don't think it's necessarily a pro or a con for the scale itself. Um, having weather on your scale isn't something that I would have expected, but I guess since it's connected to the internet anyway, you might as well have that information. Now, the four additional screens that I did not include in my specific customization are BMI, bone mass, muscle mass, and steps. And the reason for this is BMI does not change all that much. Uh, if my weight significantly changes, the BMI will only change by like a 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I can look at that later. I can look at that in the app or in Apple Health. I don't need to have that every single day on my scale. Additionally, bone mass and muscle mass, um, I'm not really trying to build or bulk or anything like that right now, so it's not super relevant. Uh, but if that's something that you're into or you're specifically excited about that, go ahead and add that to your screen customization. Steps as well, I track that in other places. Um, I'm not as conscious of steps right now, but I can see it on my Apple Watch and I can see it in other places, so I don't need that on my scale. 
and since I track it in the morning, it would only be useful to tell me the steps that I took the day before, and so I don't use that specific screen. So all in all, at the end of the day, this is a bathroom scale. So this review can't be all that long, it just weighs you, and that's what it does. So it does a really good job of that. I do appreciate all the integrations that they have. And right now, I think you can get this specific scale on Amazon. I'll leave a link somewhere in the description, but somewhere between $79 and $100, depending on the color you're looking for, and what sales they might happen to be running at the time. So take a look at the link and see what the exact price is right now. Last time I checked the time of editing this video, it is $79 for the black version. I do think it's worth that money because it does a fantastic job and the integrations, as I've mentioned many times, are my absolute favorite part. I think it does a really good job of being agnostic to platform. If you're an Apple health person, a Fitbit person, it will send your data over to those platforms without many problems. And so if you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate it. So just wanted to say thank you. And I hope you got some value from this video it was something that you were looking for, or maybe even just brought you a little smile. So enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time.